now call on Neil Bibby to be followed by Kevin Stewart. Up to six minutes, please. Thank you, President Officer. I join other members in welcoming uh, the debate this afternoon. Can I say from the outset the Labour Party is absolutely committed to supporting children and families. It was the Labour Party who introduced child benefit and it was the last Labour government who supported uh, this with child tax credits as part of a drive to eradicate child poverty and to help families. An OECD report uh, states that over half a million children were pulled out of poverty by the last uh, Labour governments elected by the Scottish people. Um, considerable progress and achievements have been made, but that has unfortunately now stalled and is in danger of increasing rapidly. As Drew Smith said, child benefit has been uh, paid universally because as a society we all have a responsibility towards all the nation's children. The coalition government's changes to the system are wrong and I agree uh, with Nicola Sturgeon on that. Let me be clear, Labour does not support cutting child benefit and we certainly do not support um, it at the same time as the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are, cut, not at the moment, are giving tax cuts for millionaires and tax cuts for big businesses. They have their priorities all wrong. As has been mentioned earlier, yep. Jamie Hepburn. The member has set out that Labour uh, do not support cutting child benefit, but Malcolm Chisholm is sitting behind uh, Mr Bibby in the row behind. I seem to recall Mr Chisholm resigning from government because that is exactly what they did when they were in government. Neil Bibby. We, we, do, we don't support cutting the current changes to child benefit because certainly at the moment, at the, moment uh, the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are cutting taxes for millionaires and big business and corporation tax cuts, which the SNP also support uh, tax cuts for big businesses as well. We need to remember that. Um, as has been mentioned already, the coalition's government's changes mean nearly 100,000 families in Scotland are set to lose a reported average of 1,200 in child benefit this year, with a majority of those losing their child benefit already. This will have serious repercussions on the levels of child poverty. And looking ahead, the Institute for Fiscal Studies, uh, uh, who were regularly quoted by the Conservatives in opposition, has said that thousands more households will lose the benefit over the next years because the threshold for receiving it will remain fixed and not take into account wage inflation. There are serious failings in this policy, including the administrative comp complexities that uh, Drew Smith said earlier. As I said before, I agree with Nicola Sturgeon that these policies are wrong, but I think it's important to focus this afternoon on what we can do to support families in Scotland and throughout the UK. Presiding officer, we all know we need an economic recovery. We need to support parents back to work and we need to make work pay. How can we encourage parents back to work if they are paid £6 an hour at the same time as they are paying £5 an hour in childcare costs? This is not how you build an economy and get people back to work. The cuts to tax credits and child benefit will certainly not help, but what is the Scottish Government doing to help parents with childcare? Tom McInnes of the highly respected Joseph Rowntree Foundation hit the nail on the head when he said action cannot wait. They, like so many others, have shown that this Parliament has the powers and resources to affect change now. Today in this parliament we have a chance to make a difference. The Scottish Government should use its power and resources to support families. Ministers have regularly talked about the extension of nursery hours for free and four olds but the reality is you have been talking about this since 2007. You will not solve the childcare problems of 2013 with a six-year-old policy a policy you have still not implemented and a policy you will not implement until 2014 at the earliest. As I have said before in this chamber, one rehashed or recycled policy, no matter how good, will not deal with the problems that parents face. Your policy to guarantee only about 1% of two-year-olds early learning the care is not good enough either, particularly when you see the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are planning to offer 40% of two-year-olds nursery in England. It is clear that the Scottish Government is not doing enough to help families with childcare. They try to speak the language of social justice but fall down when it comes to the crunch. They fail to act while on this side of the chamber we campaign to end the scourge of child poverty in Paisley and in Plymouth because it's not acceptable anywhere. On this side of the chamber we continue to view childcare as a major priority because it's an issue of equality 
and fairness. We need a model of childcare in which costs are reasonable and under which parents know they will, their children will receive high quality care. That's why when you say you need the powers to improve benefits for children, people will ask, what would you do with them? Although I didn't agree with everything uh, Willie Rennie's speech, um, he did make an important point. SNP ministers would be careful to uh, promise billions of pounds of uh, benefits promises in an independent Scotland. People will rightly question whether this is simply a slick soundbite, when in actual fact you are not using the current powers and resources you already have, and how you will increase benefits when you also support corporation tax cuts for big business. Rather than simply call for more powers, I hope the Minister will outline positive steps the Scottish Government will now take to give families and the support they need now. A starting point, President Officer, would be supporting Labour's call for investment in colleges and housing that could create jobs and opportunities to break the cycle of poverty. Because the reality is that progress was made on child poverty under Labour and has stalled under this government. You must conclude. Officer, the Labour Party has consistently demonstrated our commitment to children and families in Scotland and across the UK. I hope other parties will show their commitment. Thank you.